If you're new here, my name's Ben and I'm a photographer and videographer based in North Wales. And this week I've spent a lot of money. But that's fine, because I've also sold all of this. All of it. So if you're new here, this video may come as a bit of a surprise to you. I think I'm right in saying I've probably gained quite a few of my subscribers from shooting with Lumix cameras. This is the Lumix G9, of which I, until recently, owned two. I've absolutely loved this camera. I've been using the G9 since March this year, 2019. Just fell in love with it straight away. I used to shoot with Nikon DSLRs, and as soon as I used this G9, I immediately sold all of my Nikon gear and jumped straight in to the Micro Four Third system. As I say, I've enjoyed practically every moment that I've spent shooting with the G9, almost. I actually just recently released my review video, one minute review of the Lynx G9. That seems to do pretty well. A lot of people, a lot of people seem to agree with me that it's just a fantastic camera and will do pretty much everything that 80% of people who buy it would want it to do. Unfortunately, I think I might be in that other 20%. That's right, I'm jumping ship. I'm not going to mention just yet what brand I'm switching to. Well, I've already switched to. That's for another video. What this video is about is how I'm actually able to afford to just jump into a new camera system. If you're anything like me, or indeed anyone watching this video, chances are that you're just mad about your camera gear. Not even necessarily the gear that you own. I love just watching all the YouTube videos about all the latest camera gear, all the new features that have been packed into them and everything. I just love it. I'm a massive nerd, so that's just what I like spending my spare time doing. So I very often find myself just hypothetically pricing up all my next bits of camera gear. How much will it cost me to buy this new camera with these certain lenses and all this and that? So that brings up the question, how can I afford to just completely invest in a new camera system? Well, you sell the old stuff. It's that simple. In this case, I've absolutely loved the G9, and before I bought that, I was using the Lumix GX8 for my YouTube videos, going around vlogging in the hills and everything like that. Because, um, as most of you probably know, until they jumped into mirrorless, Nikon have never really been great for video. Superb stills cameras, but not designed for video at all. For the last nine months, I think it is now, I've been using exclusively Micro Four Thirds through the Lumix cameras. They've covered me for pretty much every professional job that I've done, whether it be weddings or outdoorsy activity stuff, dark indoor events, everything like that. All of it has been done with the Lumix G9. And for the most part, it's done me great. I've absolutely loved using it. But there are occasions where it's let me down a bit, especially, as you can imagine, in low light situations. I would very happily keep hold of the G9 with, say, either the 12 to 35 or the 15 mil, purely to use as a vlogging camera. But they are worth a lot of money, and if I kept hold of them, it would just make it a lot harder for me to afford new camera gear. The nature of the work that I do, a lot of it is events, whether it be weddings or parties or business conferences or anything like that. Low light capability is quite important to me. So I made the decision, I need to change my camera system. And so it's all going. You can't be precious about these things. So all of this gear in front of me, all of that is being sold. First thing on Tuesday morning, a delivery driver will be coming to my house, pick it up a few days later, 
I'll have the money in my account. I'm using a online service called mpb.com. I've used them quite a few times the last couple of years and honestly I couldn't fault them at all. This is not a sponsored video. By all means, MPB, I'm sure I'm a valued customer if you'd like to throw me a few quid, get in touch. But no, the first time that I used them was to buy my Nikon D750. As soon as I clicked the order button, within 10, 15 minutes, I had a phone call from MPB. They were doing a security check just to make sure that it was me and that I had actually ordered a thousand pound camera, which is something I've never experienced before from any other camera sales company of any sort. So that just instantly instilled trust between me and the company. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yes, I probably could make more money off it if I sold it privately, whether that be through eBay or on Facebook or newspaper advert who does that anymore but honestly I can't be bothered with that <laughs> a quick sale to me is far more important than getting a few more quid for your gear from experience eBay quite like taking a nice chunk out of your profit and if you sold through Facebook generally speaking you're going to be waiting quite a long time for someone genuinely interested in the product to actually make a sensible offer otherwise you just tend to be attracting time wasters and your gear is just sat up there for weeks at times so for me a service like this mpb you fill in a form online they send you a quote if you're happy with the quote book in a pickup date they'll come to your house take all your gear for free check it all over a few days later boom the money's in your account you may feel completely different on the matter, but for me, I'm working professional. I can't be wasting time just waiting for someone to show interest and for money to appear in my account before I can order the next piece of gear. So I've actually already been using my new camera system for about six weeks now, which I've been using almost as a bit of a trial period to see how it deals with the situations that I was having trouble with, with the Lumix gear, and just to see how I enjoyed using it as well. I was also holding out a little bit because I had one project which was slightly ongoing, which I just wanted to stick to one system filming with, just so I've got continuity with the editing as much as anything. But now I've got a bit of a quiet period which I'm quite enjoying. Um, I'm not shooting anywhere near as much and I'll mainly just be focused on editing. So that means for me that there's no better time for me to sell all my old gear and make the switch, give myself time to really acclimatize to the new system, get used to how everything works and be ready for the next job. Whatever system that I'm shooting with, I always want to have at least two camera bodies, as I mentioned in this video. For example, I was shooting with two G9s. I actually sold the first one to make the switch to this first camera, but I have also still had the GX8 to be shooting on as well, alongside the G9. With the funds that I'll get from the G9 and the GX8, that will actually allow me to buy another camera body, identical to this one. And then in terms of lenses, I've got four lenses here, the 12 to 35, 35 to 100, the 15 mil and 42.5 mil. Selling the four of those will also allow me to get another lens for this system to add to the three prime lenses I already have. On top of that, I've also got loads of batteries. <laughs> yeah, a lot of batteries, as well as a battery grip as well. And then the one thing that I haven't yet mentioned is the drone. So this is my DJI Mavic Air, which I'm sure you're all probably familiar with. And the other day I was just trying to think, when did I actually 
last use the Maverick Air. I've not used it since January. It's now November. That's 11 months. 11 months. I've actually used the batteries far more often than the drone, just using them as power banks. I'm actually using one right now to power this little lamp. And don't get me wrong, I love drones. They're amazing little things. The technology that's packed inside these things for the price as well is ridiculous. You can get some really, really cool shots and it can really just add a different aspect to your videos. But I don't. I'm not even really sure why. So I'm not using it, clearly. I don't have a license anyway, so I couldn't even use it commercially if someone asked me to. So it's going as well. I got this as part of the Fly More combo pack. So I've got the little bag case, got the controller and fancy battery charger and everything. That'll get me another good few hundred quid. And that is probably another lens for this new camera system. Another key thing to really keep in the back of your mind, especially if you're a professional photographer or videographer like me, keep in mind depreciation. If you don't know, depreciation is the loss in value of a particular item. Let's say for example, the G9, I think when it first came out over here in the UK, it was on sale for roughly 1800 or 1600 pounds. One year after that release date, I managed to pick up the G9 at the photography show with a load of gadgets for 850 pound. Now, this is another nine months or so later. You'll still see the top marked price in different camera shops as probably around £1,000, £900. But it's just like driving a car off the forecourt. As soon as you get in the car, start the engine, you've lost value on that vehicle. And especially in this day and age, with technology moving so quickly, every brand is bringing out new phones every year, if not every six months. Technology is just taking leaps and bounds every year with every new camera announcement. These cameras aren't going to be worth much money for very long at all. So back to what I said before, you cannot be precious about your gear. If you're not using it, sell it. Otherwise, it's just sat on the shelf or in the cupboard, gathering dust and losing value. So there's absolutely no point in keeping hold of it. You may as well trade it in, sell it on, get some cash to go towards your next piece of gear. And that's how I've done it the whole time as well. My first camera cost me 300 pound on eBay. And then when I wanted to upgrade, I traded it in. There was no point in keeping hold of it. I traded it in, got my next camera. As soon as I wanted to jump up to full frame with the D750, I traded in that camera and it keeps going as well. I just checked online as well. That first camera that I bought for £300, second hand marketplace, it's now worth £150. So that's a 50% depreciation. Why would I have kept hold of it? There's no point. So that's it for me today. Um, hope you've taken something from that video. I thought I'd just put something out there. I might try and get one or two more reviews out of this lot, but I've only got, I think, 48 hours and I am busy in between as well before all of this lot gets shipped off to get me some money. Either way, once I've got all this nice new gear, I will be doing videos all about that. If you do want to see more, hit the link down the bottom there to subscribe to the channel. And if you really liked it, feel free to get me a coffee. I've got a PayPal link down below and it just keeps me going. <laughs> and until the next one, thank you very much.